uh, I had a traumatic brain injury. I was more than half convinced that right or wrong would probably be the last published work I ever did. Well, I haven't talked about this too much anywhere else. I added an epilogue to the new version of the book, to the second edition. And I talk about, <clears throat> oh, sorry, I feel choked up over this. I said you choked up and the camera goes right to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well played. <laughs> When I was putting together Right or Wrong, Volume 1, I was in the throes of a very sincere, uh, <clears throat> sorry, a very severe concussion. Uh, I had a traumatic brain injury. At the time of me writing it, I was more than half convinced that Right or Wrong would probably be the last published work I ever did. That really made it extra important for me to put that book out. And I wrestled a lot with whether or not I was going to discuss that. But looking back at the book now, celebrating my 20th anniversary as a published comic book writer and having over 20 graphic novels I've written published, not single issues, 20 graphic novels I've had published I've written in 20 years, not including a bunch of one-off stuff here and there. I felt I could not release a second edition of Right or Wrong, a Writer's Guide to Creating Comics without that epilogue and saying, hey, I didn't talk about this at the time the book was coming out, but I had suffered a traumatic brain injury. I had, had a ceiling beam fall on my head, give me severe brain damage. I talk about how bad it was. So I was fairly confident that, I'll just say this honestly, I would pick up a book and I'll read a page. And if I turn the page, and would start to read out of no clue what was going on. Because turning a page, I lost everything. That was the state of my cognitive ability. That also carried through to my interactions with people. Probably still can't believe I talk about this publicly now. But you and I could have a conversation, leave the room, five minutes later, come back. Sometimes it'd be like I was meeting you for the first time again. I was very good at masking it, but people that got to know me well would notice like, something's going on with it. But I hid it very well because I didn't want it to impact my comic career and I wanted right or wrong to come out. So that's a pretty big thing <laughs> that they put in there is talking about that, but also talking about how you can overcome that. I suffered from the effects of post-concussive syndrome for many, many years. When you have brain damage, it's permanent. There's things that are fundamentally different about me from before I had my injury to this day. But I could not put out a new edition of this book without adding that epilogue as well and saying, here's one last little lesson. And also huge, giant kudos to Leah Letterman. Well, she was a close personal friend. She served as my editor on Right or Wrong. And you can only imagine what it's like trying to edit someone. Luckily, I had mo a lot of the book done because it was based on the old columns. But she did the Herculean effort of helping me edit me and work with me as an editor and as a friend on this book when that's that's how much I was I was dealing with cognitively. So she will never get enough praise and from from me for for doing that. And you know, like, no, Dirk, we talked about this. You can't do it this way. Like, we did talk about this. She's like, yes, we talked about this yesterday. Like, we talked yesterday. She's like, yes, yes, we did. I had to start acclimating, right, and making all these accommodations for myself. And then, like, okay, after Leah touches it, don't mess with it again. It's done. Here I am concussed going back and trying to like reread the stuff and tweak it. You can imagine what that looked like. <laughs> hmm. So along with financial aspects, technology, I did add that epilogue and, and talk about what that looked like and how you can, even when you have um, very debilitating situations, that it's very important to keep going. It's important to get treatment. I had circumstances that I don't know if I got all the treatment I could have or should have, even when awful unexpected, random things happen to you like that, you can still keep going and uh, you can still achieve a lot of success. And that was the last thing that I wanted to impart to people in that new second edition of Right or Wrong is that, by the way, I went through this and since then, been nominated for the uh, Ring Award three years in a row and I have had number one best-selling book on Amazon. I'm working with the Alon the, uh, the Cheney Estate I'm working with Twisted. I've worked with Tony Giovanni. I work with Arne Anderson. I, I'm on the fifth volume of, of Tales of Mystery. Nightmare World's coming back to print again with a new edition. There were many dark days, man. And to those of you watching right now, there were very many dark days. And when you hear about these football players and stuff like that, that wrestle with suicide after they've had traumatic brain injuries, I can tell you, I get it. I get it. But 
if you keep going, things can get better. If you keep going and if you get support and, and support yourself. And one thing I didn't do, which I should have, and I've tried to make amends to the best of my ability since then, was I wasn't more transparent with a lot of people around me that that was going on. So, yeah, I added that too. That's a, there's something else I added in. <laughs> First time I've talked about that publicly too. I always love the fact that you come on and you give me a lot of exclusives and firsts. So, you know, I do appreciate that. <laughs> the heck of one. 